Can't believe I'm doing this. Whatever. Fine. Subscribe. Episodes on those days. So watch. Leave comments. I'm done. Mm. Snares, you say? Okay. I don't mind collecting souls. Let's do that. Okay. So, snares. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's see. Uh, throw out a monster and then kill them to obtain their demonic will. Not too tough. Oh, it only stacks to 16. That should be enough. Get away. Only you guys work. Ooh, don't look at me. Little creatures all the time. Hmm. Oh, yes, they have this. You can do it here, I'm sure. Allow me to have your soul already. I guess it's not helpful to slow these guys down. Huh, there we are. Whenever you kill a monster that is under the influence of the snare, you will obtain the creature's will. We will use this to begin our dark works. Sounds good to me. Blood calls for blood. Craft a blood altar using a demonic will and we'll be able to start performing dark rituals. Wonderful. But first, I will go back over here. These guys have got to go. Okay, now that they're all gone, I <laughs> can get back to business. Where were we? Ah, yes. Blood altar. <laughs> Sounds nice. Let's see. One demonic will Stone. A furnace. I don't know, Stella? Seriously. Okay. You have a room? Very quickly. Uh, no. Oh, Wonderful. Very nice. Dark rituals require sacrifice. You've learned that earlier, yes? When you sacrificed innocent lives to create your oblivion catalysts? Show me how much you're willing to sacrifice. Create a sacrificial dagger. Use it to harness your life essence. My life essence? Hmm. Their 
there must be a way to work this to my favor. Easy enough. Good. Now you'll need a hellfire forge. This will allow you to create stronger, more complex items. But it's gonna cost you to do so. Don't worry. With the hellfire forge, we can make collecting bill much easier. Hmm. I wonder where this guy's going. I am curious though. Let's see here. Find a good spot for this. Nothing like the backdrop of evil. Yes. That leads to be nicely. With my regenerative skills, it should take me no time at all. Blood is the key to the powers of darkness. Take a piece of stone and throw it into your blood altar to infuse it with your essence. They'll create a blank slate that we can use for even more things. Feel bad now, don't we? <laughs> Give it a shot. All right, here we are. Just pass it in, you say. Or I should just put it on. Hmm. Very nice. Diamond infused with enough blood will create a blood orb. With this in your hand, your life essence won't drain from your blood network. However, this orb is weak and will barely hold any blood. We'll make better ones later. Also, the orb will bind to you. So if you have any friends, <laughs> you won't be able to simply give them the orb to use. No problems there. We can't reach now. Nifty. Find out what this blood orb has to do. Diamonds. Fines.
Oh, this takes so long. Ooh, I can feel it on its hair drain. <laughs> Too nice. I wonder if I can automate this. That would be wonderful. Arcane ash is what some people call it, but it's far from arcane. It's a substance you can use to create ritual circles. Have some of it in your Hellfire Forge. This guy is bossy. Ow. That, that is so. Going to need more snares as well. <laughs> that was but a prick. This, 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 this. Very well. Let's go. Redstone. Hmm. Wonder what those guys were doing. Now I have enough. Very good, folks. Very good. Now we'll go see what this thing does. And it fills up and it gives me one. Very good. Hey, I'm done. A divination sigil will allow you to monitor your life essence in your blood altar. Create an alchemy array, place a redstone inside, then place a blank slate inside. Now you watch the Eldritch twerk happen. Hmm. Divination Central Park. Alchemy Array. Hmm. What was that again? <laughs> Uh-oh. They're coming. Show him no mercy. Very good, fellas. Very good. You worthless.
Hmm. Might have to play around with some of this. Yes, let's do that. Hmm. Yes, need to learn some things about this. One blank slate later. Nice. I like that. That's entertaining. Hmm. Current life points is that? Hmm. Ah, that's where you went. Huh. Very good. That should help me out. This is fun. <laughs> Can't even get close to me. Ah! <laughs> Try as you might. <laughs> Too much fun. Okay, we're going to get this place fixed up. We will return. Alright, so I brought it all the way down here to the bottom of the world. Because it's safer. And I'm tired of blood moons and everything interfering with my uh, quest for power. So, I went ahead and made some translocators to fill it in there. Unfortunately, it doesn't work quite like I want it to, but it does work. So, we're going to continue now. Up here. You can make the Tatara gem using a demonic will in your Hellfire Forge. It'll be pretty in and useless at first, but it'll be a make obtaining demonic will easier. Glass, lapis, gold, and redstone. Lapis and redstone, and I have a will. Really? A little unsure about that. With your torture, Jim, you can now craft a sentient sword. Such a weapon can cut through the very essence of a monster and yield will without the need for snares. Wonderful. I would like that. Let's see. An iron sword, a pet turret gem, and a will. We have plenty of iron swords, I'm sure. And when I say we, I mean me. <laughs> Thank you. Let's do this. Ah, oh, good, good, good. Wonderful. Let's go try it out, shall we? 
No, let's not make that yet. In the perfect place, right? Guys are very industrious. No poison. No wither. No. And no slowly. <laughs> yes, I will collect some will. That didn't take very long. Let's take these wills back home. See some good quality. Now, say about this Tartaric gem. There you go. A block, a block, a petty one. to need to drop these off first. Well, let's fill back up my blood pool. Now we don't need to make one of those. Yeah. And one of these diamond or redstone blocks. And that thing. And that thing requires lapis, glass, redstone. There we go. Perfect. Now we can get the next Tartar gym in place. Yes, 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 yes. Wonderful. Place it here. This, this, this. No. This, this, this. No. Not quite enough, I think it. Maybe you will do then. Hmm. 
<laughs> round and round we go. Where I'll stop, no one knows. Petty, diamond, red block, red stone, block of this color. Yes, 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 and a petty. Hmm. Moving on then. I have it. Give it to me. Yes. It's time to upgrade your altar to the second tier. Place eight rooms of any kind, even blank ones, and one block beneath the altar in a circle. You don't need anything under the altar, so just feel free to put stone or some other useless thing if you don't want floating. Hmm. Any blank rooms, huh? a lot. Perhaps this is why it's not working. And out of blood. No. Hmm. We do have to figure out how to put just one in at a time. So we will be back later. Okay, so I went and filled up my petty parter gym. And now we'll see if this works. Still no. Hmm. No. I didn't look at those. Ah! You need to do it that way. Very well. That works for me. Good. Now we'll work on upgrading. And now we have all of them. I'm just going to use blanks for now. Dagger sacrifice is a great weapon. It means you won't need to cut yourself anymore. With it, simply sacrifice something within the area of your altar, it'll die, and you'll get its blood. What innocent creatures will you sacrifice, I wonder? Villagers are a great source of blood. Hmm. Can't spawn them quite as easily. I look for efficiency, not just. Yeah. There is a town known as Inspectora Scantilum. If you have trouble figuring out how to build your blood altar, yeah, I feel I've made my instructions quite simple for a mortal to follow though. You can make one of these. I can show you an outline to make your blood altar. Hmm.
and we'll move on. So I think you should watch this, and subscribe already, and then check this out. If not, I'll come for you.